Hi everyone, um, my name is Kazi Stanley Thomas. My pronouns are they, them, theirs, or zs and theirs. And just an important reminder that this is uh, Trans Awareness Week. It's just a really beautiful time for trans people just to feel empowered about their own identity and how they live through that. And just a quick reminder that um, transgender is an umbrella term for anyone who does not identify with the gender that they were assigned with in birth. So that includes both binary female to male, male to female, and also non-binary people. So agender, demi boy, demi girl, um, gray genders, um, and just anything in that range. Um, and I'm happy to send out not specifically a list of genders, but if you have any questions, I have this neat a uh, little book that really just sums it all up and it's literally a dictionary so yeah just make sure to respect people and their genders and even if you don't understand it it's just important that you know they, they are still valid in their experience and use their pronouns so you solidarity and if you feel like it since november 20th is the national day of remembrance for transgendered people please post a trans flag or add the trans flag emoji for those of you on iOS 14 in one of your social media bios. Just making sure that you, the trans people around you out and closeted feel safe. People in the trans community and trans allies advocate for the norm normalization of pronouns. So this could be by putting them in your social media bios or putting them at the end of emails or just introducing yourself with your name and what your pronouns are. We all have pronouns. We all prefer pronouns. It is not just a trans community thing or a trans issue. It is everyone. Really just putting, um, putting your pronouns in your bios or at the end of emails, even if you are cisgender, just really helps out the trans community because it destigmatizes uh, trans people putting their pronouns um in their uh social medias or emails and it really just builds an inclusive environment also it takes two seconds to ask someone what their pronouns are and not just assuming uh someone's pronouns so you can easily avoid misgendering someone and it is also just a great way to make your transgender peers and um, friends just feel comfortable hi guys i'm nick i'm from latin's lgbtq plus affinity um, and I'm here to talk about Trans Day of Remembrance, which is on Friday, the 20th of November, um, 2020, which, or is or was, depending on when you're watching this. Um, and while in a second we're going to take a moment of silence, I want to remind you that we cannot be desensitized to this violence that's faced by the trans community. And that is imperative that we um, keep fighting as a community to combat the violence against the trans community. So let's take a moment of silence um, and reflect on that. For those who may have an experience that is other than cisgendered, um, please feel free if you ever need anything to contact one of LGBTQ plus affinity heads. Um, I have uh, some resources I can do. Uh, for example, if you need binder or gaff help, then you know this organization that I went through called Point of Pride and they give out free discreet packaging for gaffs and binders, um, as well as uh, I think other gender conforming um, underwear. And then there's also Howard Brown that I could connect you with. So please, if you need anything and you are transgender or queer in general, reach out to one of us.